good what was that <laughs> good morning it is 10 past 7 I have actually been awake since like quarter to six the sun rises so early our apartment faces the sunrise so we get the sun full on as you can see the room gets this bright super early and it was and it's like super hot and the fan is in the back on in the background if you can hear the droning i've been like in and out of sleep since quarter to six and then jason had to get up early get up get up early hello <coughs> had to get up early and get ready because he has gone to a seminar today with his co-workers so he's only going to be back like way after five probably closer to six so i have the whole day to myself today so i just thought i'd pick up the camera and vlog whatever <laughs> i'm contemplating now if i'm first gonna have my coffee or first go for my morning walk i look rough i definitely need to rinse and wash my face i think i'm first gonna go for my walk and then come back and have coffee yeah let's do that Actually quite a, like a little bit nervous to go for my walk this morning I've been going for my morning walks religiously for probably like three or four weeks now but <laughs> earlier this week I told Jason that the one thing I really don't want to see on my walk is snake <laughs> and so yesterday I was working and I was listening to my podcast and I had my obviously I had my earphones in but then I just heard like and I looked down and I kid you not there was a snake but it, it was a baby snake but you know if it's venomous and it bites you baby or not you know but so now it's like this thick <laughs> and probably like this long but it was like going and I was just I jumped so high in the air and like did a little jog to get ahead but I so snack so now I'm a little bit iffy to walk on that same path as yesterday, but I suppose there are snakes everywhere in the fables here. Now all that's left is for me to choose which podcast I'm going to listen to. I've been loving the Do You Effing Mind podcast. I look so naked. <laughs> like, I try to choose the podcast length to coincide with my walk. Let's listen to this one. What do you do when it feels like nothing is going your way? I'll be listening to that one. So this is the full fit with obviously my new balance shoes. 
Um, Jason probably left his headphones here, shall I? Should I put headphones in instead of my earphones? I also need to take a baggie with to carry my phone in because that's how I track my steps. Oh yeah, the fit's not complete without this. Mm. Cool to cool for school. Is it? Play. That's loud. Okay. And there we go. This looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Like. I'm gonna find Jason's headphones and then put that on. And my battery is flashing anyway, so I'll see ya when I get back. I'm back from my walk. I have been back for a while. Did not see any snakes this time. Thank goodness. And also I had a cold shower when I got back. I was like sweating and so hot when I got back. So I just jumped into the shower, like <laughs> rinsed myself under just cold water. And yeah, I've had breakfast. Also got a load of washing going. And now I am going to water the plants. Cause I'm sure they are in need of some yeah, she's dry. This one. Dry as well. This is all in the legs. So what I like to do is I just put them in the shower and then I just turn on the water and then I completely drench them. All the plants are watered. Also, change of fit shorts because it's just way too hot and then still have this same little crap on yeah so it's a few hours later i took a nap and jason is back from his seminar <laughs> and look what he brought back for me all these different packets of tea because <laughs> at the seminar i had like a whole case full of different teas and he set up this bucket each of them for me. Good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it to the gym today. I mean, I would like to go, but I'm feeling like all my muscles are quite sore. So if I end up going, good. If I don't, that's fine too. I'll just take another walk later this evening when it's cooled down. If I'm not going to the gym otherwise yeah but my upper body is very sore I did chest shoulders and triceps yesterday I had a push day my triceps are freaking sore can't really see my triceps could I could see in the gym lighting yesterday which but I was very impressed by but yeah uh, I started out doing push-ups but obviously knee assisted push-ups because for the life of me I cannot do a push-up the you know the normal way <laughs> so my goal is to eventually work my way up so that I can do normal unassisted 
push-ups. So yeah, and the same with pull-ups as well. But that's another thing I want to do this weekend is see if I can buy a heavy resistance band. I have a medium resistance one. <laughs> I quickly learned this week that it d doesn't work, it's too light, I need a heavier one. And the ones we have at the gym have like no resistance left to them and they're like torn. So I have, like I said, the medium one, but I, I want to go see if I can buy a heavy one so that I can work my way up to pull-ups. So yeah, when earlier this week when I tried to do the assisted banded pull-ups and it didn't work, I just had to do like negatives where I jump up and hold myself and then slowly put my pull myself down. But yeah, I did feel slightly embarrassed that I was like putting the band on and like getting in and I was like I couldn't even pull myself up. But then I thought to myself. Why am I getting embarrassed? It's only embarrassing when you feel embarrassed. So I just quickly snapped out of that embarrassing feeling. I was like, you know, trial and error, trial and error. Anywho, Jason's back and yeah, still planning out the rest of the evening. We have lunching again at six. So if we go to the gym, it might be that time. I actually might go and just do cardio like on the bike hmm we'll see we'll see and what for supper chicken we have to do grocery shopping this weekend we have run out of our main like our staple stuff we usually eat like eggs couldn't have my egg meal today because we don't have eggs and I've just been loving the way I'm making eggs lately. But yeah, don't have eggs, we have chicken. So maybe I can make like the chicken, the salad, and chips, like potato chips. That sounds good. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Oh, I'm sweating. Catfish. Sure. It really takes a lot out of you to get these tights on. Anyway, <laughs> just like that. And just like that, I am dressed to go to the gym. Oh. Just in and out, just doing hip thrusts and 20 to 30 minutes cardio on the bike. But yo, I'm sweating already. I, I don't even think I have to go to the gym. Burning all my calories now. But we go feel good. But ourselves, mentally and physically. Let's go train. Just got back from the grocery store. <laughs> Let's do a quick haul because someone's hungry. Starving. Okay, I'm just gonna reveal it as I pack it away. So, zucchini, two little pallets of cherry tomatoes, mushrooms, a butternut. 
low fat chocolate yogurt, tomatoes, the chopped spinach, blueberries, there's more blueberries in your sample, fat free and low fat cottage cheese, oats, ham, foil, Strawberries, the one fell out, unfortunate. More blueberries because they were on special and these ones are going, two of them are bad in here. So we have four punnets, they were not, how much? Six rand each. Mm -hmm. Six rand each, so we had to buy four. Broccoli, chicken. White and brown fat, coconut milk, chickpeas, and canned tomatoes, bananas, banana. chocolate chip cookies that someone sneaked in without me knowing, a red onion, two trays of eggs. Quick overview of what you got. <laughs> like um, Jason and I split this round of groceries, so I bought all the veggies except the spinach. I didn't buy. Bought that. Bought one of those. One of the wraps. And those. Mine came up to, I think, like 300 rand if I count everything together. How much did you pay, baby? 400, I think. 400. So this was, all this was under 1k? Yep. Nice. Nice. This is also the outfit I was wearing with my sandals. Today! Okay, let's pack this away and make breakfast! We're having fish tonight! So, this is what we're having from Calamari Fisheries. So ever since we've moved, we have been on the hunt to find a good fish and chips place. So, first glance and first taste, pretty good. Hmm? First time lucky. And it's cute how they like in little pit mini pizza boxes. <laughs> cool. We're gonna eat this and watch The Good Nurse on Netflix. <laughs> Goo beans! sitting outside on the balcony. We have had a very chilled Sunday. We went to the beach this morning and then the rest of the day we just chilled out. And yeah, we also booked um, a getaway for the end of this month. So that's exciting. Something we've been wanting to do so we just finally booked it. So yeah, something to look forward to. Uh, yeah, the rest of the evening we're just gonna chill. We're sitting outside. It's, it was such a nice day today. Um, but yeah, Jason's inside. Oh my gosh, I almost thought those people had Christmas, their Christmas tree up. <laughs> I just see sparkling lights, but I don't think it is that. 
Anyway, Jason's inside playing games. I'm gonna head in soon. It's getting quite dark. Otherwise, we're just gonna have a chill rest of the weekend. Also, someone found like a freaking Cape Cobra in their yard today. So <laughs> that happened. So for my walks, I am going to have to be like a super vigilant now. Are you winning? Nope. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you <laughs> in the next one. Dark side of the moon.